okay, lady, it's three in the morning somewhere, and it's like a Monday. That means it must be a Raspberry Pi release day. Oh, man, <laughs> I love these. It's uh, right. early morning in the UK, and there's a new Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi 4, yeah. which you've all been waiting for. We're so excited, and we even have one that we can point to while we talk about it. Let's start, just because I always like to make sure everyone's involved. What's the Raspberry Pi computer? What is the Raspberry Pi computer? The Raspberry Pi computer is a small credit card sized all-in-one computer that can run software, it can run Linux, it can even run Windows, and it has um, Ethernet, USB, Wi-Fi, um, HDMI, it has all the things that you expect on a computer, but it's really small and it's really low cost. And it's designed so that everybody can have a computer. It's only $35 for the entry level, and there's even the Pi Zero, which is $5 at the entry level. Yeah. Um, and it basically means anyone can get started and have their own computer. So if you're a student or a young person, maybe there's a computer at school you use and there's a computer at home, but you want to have your very own, perfect for Raspberry Pi. It's also great for industrial uses, uh, for embedded Linux situations where you want to have uh, hardware that's controlled by a standalone controller. And makers and crafters and hackers love them as well because they're small, they're yeah. fairly low power, and it's a full Linux computer with GPIO that can run NeoPixels. My favorite thing about, or favorite things about the Raspberry Pi is it's, it's a great device and it's a great cause. The Raspberry Pi Foundation is a fantastic group of people. They've also just got into publishing, so some of our favorite magazines are now coming from the Pi Foundation. And then this entire group of people that every single year there's something amazing that's getting the hand, the, the, the computing power of the Raspberry Pi into the hands of more people. So speaking of, Raspberry Pi 4, this is a big deal. It's super fast. It's dropping. Yeah. This is so fast. Um, so well, the, let's do some photos. Here, here it is. Look at it in its glory. It's glory. There's a lot of things it's added. So um, first up, it's now the Broadcom BCM2711. It's a quad-core Cortex-A72 ARM V8. It's a 16-bit uh, system on a chip, and each core is running at 1.5 gigahertz. And what's interesting, with in this, in this series, you can get it in three configurations. You can get it with 1 gig, 2 gig, or 4 gigabytes of RAM. So historically, with the Pi 3, um, it was a quad-core processor, but it was an earlier process. Uh, this process can go much faster, and it can um, access a lot more RAM. So they bumped up the RAM, because a lot of people were like, oh, the, it's very fast, but I just need a little bit more memory. So you'll pay a little bit more, but you can get up to four gigabytes. And um, one of the things is if you look back at those USB ports, um, you'll notice two of them are blue. Those are USB 3 ports, so they're super fast. They're speedy USB 3 ports, which means if you want to connect an external hard drive, if you connect it over this, it'll be USB 3 speeds, and then you still have the two USB 2 speed ports. Also notice something else. It looks like, what are these two ports here? It looks like there's like a couple. No, it's like uh, one USB uh, port, like a uh, HDMI port, like yeah, bisected what's, 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 what's and, and divided. Yeah. yeah, so instead of having one HDMI port, there's now two, and they're both micro HDMI. That's the only way they could fit it. Right. So this does mean that some cases won't fit. Um, for example, our classic Raspberry Pi 3 cases, we're, we're revising them for the Raspberry Pi 4 because now it needs two slots, one for each yeah. micro HDMI port, and also the power port used to be a micro B and now it's a USB-C connector. That's also because to get power for the Raspberry Pi, you just need a bigger cable with more okay. connectors. So let's start pointing this out over in the overhead. Yep, okay. so, so this is that USB-C. What's going on over here? Uh, USB-C for power, um, so they recommend a big, chunky power supply, because again, there's quad core 1.4 gigahertz. These are, these are big processors. So something like this, it's a USB-C uh, three amp, five volt adapter. Um, for some situations, you might be able to get away with about 2.4 amps with an adapter, but if you're really gonna go all out with this processor, upgrading to uh, a three amp, five volt adapter is gonna be a must. Especially if you okay. wanna add other stuff like That's cameras power. and displays. Next up, we got a couple HDMI ports. Two HDMI ports, and again, these are micro HDMI. They look like micro USB, but they're not. They're yeah. micro HDMI. Um, but we and almost everybody else stocks uh, cables that will take you from micro HDMI to classic HDMI. Yep. And there's two ports. Each one can do 4K at 60 uh, frames per second. So um, great for uh, digital displays, digital signage. I know that's a very popular use for the okay. Raspberry Pi. Still has the camera and display connector. Same as before. So uh, if you have a camera, you can connect it. If you have the, HD, uh, sorry, the DSi display, also still works. 
That classic audio connector is still there and it still does the same thing. It's got uh, four contacts, so uh, left and right audio, and then the fourth contact is TV out video, so it can still do TV out. That's cool. There's um, some places where you can't get HDMI monitors, but you may have access to old televisions, um, so you can get NTSC or PAL. Okay. What else? You've got those USB ports, two USB 2s, two USB 3s. Again, uh, you know, it doesn't have a SATA port on it, but now if you have a hard drive, an external hard drive you want to connect, uh, connect it to the USB 3 port and you'll get super speed. Okay. It's got a uh, gigabit Ethernet as well, so the Ethernet is uh, still on here, but now it's gigabit. So a lot of people have asked for that as well. Um, I guess the processor that handles USB and Ethernet has been greatly upgraded. So you'll get much, much better speeds. Um, so if you want to use this as a server or sending, receiving data, um, Ethernet's always the best. But if you don't want to use Ethernet, right. there's the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. I was going to ask, what's this, what's this uh, you know, this metal thing? Looks like it's, it's covering up something special. It's covering up that Broadcom <laughs> chip that does the Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth support. So that's uh, communicating over here, like SDIO or okay. something. Um, so this is uh, the same Bluetooth uh, Wi-Fi chip as before. It's got that cool uh, low-cost surface mount antenna as well from ProAnt. This is that main core chip. It's got that heat spreader on it. You shouldn't need a heat sink, but if you would like, uh, you know, you can get a heat sink or a fan attached on top. And this is that uh, external RAM. So um, one, two, or four gigabyte, depending on uh, how much you paid. It supports PoE, so if you get the PoE hat, you can power and do data over the Ethernet port, and then these four pins connect to the PoE module on the hat or external module, however you want to wire it up. Um, so you don't need a separate power supply if you want to you know, embed this in something and have only one cable. On the flip side, uh, you can see the USB-C, um, all the, not USB-C, the USB 3.0 has a ton more connectors here. Um, the HDMI ports over here, uh, capacitors and crystals here, and then um, still that micro SD card as normal. You'll need to get the latest version of Raspbian Buster which uh, may not be out the first day that this is available, but by the time you get these shipped to you, it'll be up on my Raspberry yeah. Pi site. So make sure you've updated your SD card because you will not be able to run old SD cards. If you have SD card from a Pi 1, 2, or 3, you do have to upgrade it to Buster. It's not enough just to get the latest Jesse. You have to get the firmware um, that comes with the latest version of um, Raspbian. And then I'm sure other uh, architect, uh, other Linux distros like Arch or Gentoo or Ubuntu will all follow along and add the firmware support for this new chip. Um, and then the GPIO, it's fully backwards compatible, and I believe there's actually an extra I squared C port as well. There's a couple more uh, peripherals available, but it should be fully backwards compatible with all the existing um, peripherals. It's three volt logic. It uh, has I squared C, UART, SPI, and then we'll find out soon, you know, if, when I get more documentation, um, what other the peripherals these pins can perform. Okay, that's a great overview. A um, couple questions for you. Yeah. So, uh, one is a statement, and there is a couple questions. Okay. <laughs> the statement is if someone wants to order this now, they can go to adafruit.com. It's a new product. It'll say coming soon, just sign up sign for up. when it comes in, because when these are going to come in in multiple shipments, we send out an email. We don't do back orders, because that's, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. And but here's the deal. We'll get it. Yeah. We, nobody we'll get in the email. U.S. is going to have these until at least a couple days after, because yeah. they don't ship until the release. So, thing. And so like, then yeah. they ship. So we won't have these until maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, but Thursday. The way it works is when you, when you put your email in, we send out the emails once they're physically here. So when you place your order, it goes out as soon as possible. We don't take your money and, and wait. So that's, that's the statement part. Question. Question. Um, we have circuitpython.org slash blanket. Will that be there soon? I absolutely believe it will be up okay. by the end of this week. Um, I, it runs Python 3, and you know this is basically a, a full PC. This is like two or three times faster than the Pi 3B+. Plus. So um, people will really enjoy being able to do video, my next question. audio. It's faster. What are you going to do with this? Um, so I think actually, you know what this would be really good for is it could do a lot of machine learning stuff maybe without an accelerator. So um, what I'm you know, really excited for is uh, doing video, machine learning, audio, yeah. maybe even compute some modules 
on uh, models yeah, okay. on this oh, not just fun. run tensor for light. a module on a raspberry pi 4 and then we put it on our little edge badge yeah i think yeah. also the dual hdmi is pretty cool um you know we can make gigantic eyes you know our, our, fa our uh popular. you know i did i did that before i, I used two raspberry pis and i synced them yeah, yeah but this we could do uh dual 40 inch hdmi yeah. uh eyeballs that move around so i don't know yeah I, I did this in two ways one i had an hdmi splitter and then the eyes was identical yeah and then i had two raspberry Pis. i tried to sync them up tough but now i can just do it now you just have two displays so we'll figure out how okay. that works Pretty all right exciting. well congratulations to the raspberry pi folks and then everybody out there who's going to be doing cool things can't wait to see what you're and thank show you and share. liz and evan and yeah. gordon for sending us this so we could get blinka going yeah I'm going we got to a little bit earlier so we were able to start working on some software yep things. okay all right sweet so sign up and get one of these cool super fast pi 4s blazing Zoom. raspberry pi computers